Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the fabulous ballroom here at the Baldekin Inn. <laughs> I'm joined once again by David Ellis. He is the owner here at uh, the Inn. Shall we dance, sir? <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> I'm just a horrible dancer. You wouldn't even know what to do with me. <laughs> so what a magnificent room. What is this used for? Uh, we do a lot of weddings up here, but uh, we also use it for corporate events and uh, anniversary parties and birthday parties and mm -hmm. Halloween parties. And I like the idea of a Halloween party all because sorts there are those things. rumors of the, the building being haunted. <laughs> what, a, what a suiting uh, suiting place. But for those of you who are a little nervous of potential hauntings, uh, David has owned the building for 23 years, you said, mm -hmm. and you have never seen anything that would make you think that this place is even remotely haunted. Not once. <laughs> well, to each his own, I suppose, eh? I suppose. So. Um, Anything from weddings to, to corporate gatherings, and, and what, what, what can I do with the space? Oh, uh, all kinds of things. We have dances here, and we have uh, meetings, and, uh, all, and all kinds of You can get a DJ going social here? Social events. Oh, yeah. certainly, yeah. We have DJs, live bands. Uh, we have extra power up here, so it's uh, not a problem. And tell me a little bit about the walls, because they're, they're fairly unique, and I well, think you said at one point they were covered, right? These were all covered originally by uh, this pine on the end of the building. Mm -hmm. or the end of the room, and um, these are what are called rubble construction. They weren't meant to be seen, so they just patched in whatever was handy and solid, mm -hmm. and uh, knowing that no one would see it because it was covered. But in the 70s, actually, uh, someone owned the building and took this out mm -hmm. and uh, did everyone a favor, actually, by exposing the walls. Well, it's gorgeous. I can't even imagine covering them in the first place, but uh, I guess it takes uh, a couple years for, for things to become uh, sort of rich in heritage and, and, and worthy of exposure. Decades and decades. Yeah, exactly. What about the ceiling? I know you said this is... Well, this, this central beam yeah? is a King's Post Trust. Okay. There's only one other like it in North America. It's mm -hmm. in Chicago. And uh, you won't see a room this big that doesn't have posts holding it up, mm -hmm. which is really nice if you're having a wedding. You don't have to peek behind the post to... Yeah, see what's going on. Exactly. And and how old is this building? It was built in 1860, so mm -hmm. it's um, 151 years old. Right, and what did it start as? was uh, Canada's largest department store. Sorry, not Canada's. Um, it was the largest department store between Montreal and Chicago. Really? When it was built. Well, and Merrickville has a whole lot of buildings. Yes, uh, Merrickville has old. more heritage designated buildings than anywhere else in Canada per capita. Why is that? Mostly because there was no economic activity here between the 30s and the 80s. Mm -hmm. And so it wasn't worth tearing these buildings down. <laughs> you think this one would have been torn down had oh, there been more uh, It's a really good corner for a gas station. I'm sure it would have been. <laughs> what, a, what a shame that it, would have been. It would have been a shame. Yeah. And, and Canada has lost many heritage buildings mm -hmm. you know, for those reasons. Mm -hmm. And not only is there the inn and the ballroom here in the uh, Baldekin Inn, but there's also a delicious dining room. Yes, there is. So we're going to head downstairs and uh, have a bite to eat. What is your chef wrestling up for us? He's going to make a maple glazed salmon. Ooh, okay, well, stick around. There's still lots more coming up this morning from uh, Baldishin Inn here in America.